Yo, what's up guys? We got Poe Game here. Today we are back with my uh, suspect test run for Zamazenta Crown because it is currently being suspect tested. I just realized I uploaded a whole week of uh, collaborative videos. So this is my first singles video in I think six days. And I think my last one was also a Zamazenta OU Live. So uh, I, I don't know if I say my bad, but I mean I enjoyed my content this week. So hopefully y'all enjoyed it too. But if you guys do enjoy this video, feel free to leave a like. I, 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 I'm about to build around some heat. So the first part of this live is going to be me building. The second part is going to be the battles. I'll have timestamps, so don't even uh, worry about it. And uh, yeah, I'm excited. I think I'm, I'm a little bit excited because I was thinking about Pokemon that can deal with Zamazenta, which I personally actually don't even think is that broken. I think we have a decent amount of checks as well. Um, but of course, that's just my personal opinion. And a few others share it the same way. But let's think about Palisand. And uh, Palisand is a really fun mon because it doesn't really take anything from Zamazenta. If you just look at Zamazenta, that's not this one, but uh, this one, sure. As you can see, it doesn't really do too much. Earth Power is almost a 2 KO back, um, and that's 64 HP, so we can get rid of that. Yeah, so damn near 2 KO. It's a 2 KO with Spike. That's pretty cool. Um, and we also, I believe, take plus one. Yeah, sometimes. Uh, we'll see. It's going to be a check, but I want to use a really fun one because I'm in that mood. So uh, I was thinking about, I think I might have made this or tried to make this with Envy. But uh, we'll be using Luminous Moss, and what Luminous Moss does is it raises the user's special defense by one if they're hit with a water type attack. And this is pretty cool because you combine that with water compaction, and then it gets plus two defense, and then plus one special defense, uh, which can allow you to possibly sit in on Slowbro and Slowking. Now, maybe not because as you can see, Palisand, I'm not, I haven't even made the EV spread yet, but as you can see, Slowking uh, still does a lot with Scald, 58 to 68. And then at plus one, uh, it's still doing 39 to 46. However, you can deal with that because this Pokemon gets recycled. So when the Luminous Moss is gone, we can just bring it right back. And I'll be water compactioning the whole time. So the set I'm thinking about, because this will actually allow you to beat, uh, because as you can see, Shadow Ball does nothing to Slow King, actually allow you to beat it is uh, Earth Power, Toxic, Shore up because that's the best recovery move in the game. No drawback and it heals you more in sand and 16 PP. Awesome. And then recycle. So definitely max HP is what I want to go for. Uh, I'm just trying to think what's a little bit, what's okay from here. Let me see Tox effects to speed tier 106. Yep, figured same thing. So we'll most likely go a little bit of speed just to uh, be a little bit faster than Tox effects. I don't think it matters too much. Actually, Earth Power does a good chunk if it's fully, if it's physically defensive. So that's pretty nice. Let's see if I can up that, get a little jump point here. So 8 in order to make that always 48 to 52. Is it 16 or is it going to be 28? Yeah, so none of this is worth it because the highest roll is always the same. Unless I go 44, which I'm not going to do. Uh, I'll do 8 though because 8 allows me to... Um, it's 88% chance versus 78. So it's a nice 10% jump more. Excuse me. It goes up, excuse me, uh, about 15%. So I don't know. I'm tired, so I didn't even read the math. I could have just lied to you about the number. Was it was it 74 to 88? What was it before? This one's an 88% chance to a KO. Oh, this one's 78. Oh, it's 10%. It goes up 10. A little 10 points. So anyway, so that's a special attack. 16 speed for top specs. I definitely want max HP. And now um, we want to be able to obviously deal with uh, the Zamazenta. And let me see if there's any other OU threats I want to be able to live. Let me, let me see if I can live a Bisharp's knockoff, for instance. Bisharp, knockoff. Oh, no, no. Get rid of that Cobra Berry. 73 to 87. Damn, even, I, without, even with spikes. Oh, actually, it's not that bad. So, 232. Yeah, it's probably just worth going 232 defense. Honestly, I was thinking about getting special defense, but uh, considering the the you know the niche of this is or not even the niche but like the gimmick of it is that i'm gonna bring it in on um i mean it still can deal with stuff like garchomp and things like that but uh this should be earth power i would go scorching sands but i mean i showed you the earth power calc on toxifex which is pretty enticing and obviously the one on some too scorching sand might be better in that case too but i want to be able to eat like hits from pokemon like that so yeah we'll just go with the bold nature all right so we got our palace in. I'm very, very, very excited for this. I'm very excited for this. Um, 
kind of want to try, uh, especially because it's a Pokemon that deals with a water type like Urshifu, because obviously Urshifu is just going to be critting through everything, so the defense raises don't matter. Um, and also, at least Bait Scald, because... Basically, you know, if you can catch a Rillaboom, I'm, I'm leading to Rillaboom. Uh, if you can catch a Rillaboom with a Scald and you burn it, it, it's useless. So I'm leaning towards Rillaboom in this set, or in this next slot. Um, and also, it's cool because I don't have leftovers on Palisand, so Grassy Terrain kind of gives me fake leftovers for a little bit. So we can go for Grassy Surge over there. My favorite Rillabooms are basically always banded. Um, and I think that Palisand being able to pseudo-check... Uh, Zamazenta is really cool. The other option though is I'm fairly confident Rillaboom actually beats Zamazenta if it's Swords Dance and Sewer Power. Uh, but let's see. Zamazenta. Let's get rid of its uh, Dauntless Shield ability because that's always faked for whatever reason. And let's give it plus one defense. There you go. Sewer Power at plus two is an Oko. Or I can go for plus two Drain Punch into Grassy Glide. Will that kill too? I have a feeling that will not. I have, I have a strong feeling that will not. But, yeah, because I'll be minus one at the next one. And then they'll get recovery as well. This is also assuming they don't have HP. So uh, so I'll go for the uh, Life Orb uh, SD. I don't usually use that really boom at all. But it sounds fun. SD. Grassy Glide. Super Power for sure. It also helps with like Feral Thorn things that threaten Palisan. You know, if, uh, if Heatran was running max speed more, because I've even seen Modest but not Timid a lot, uh, I'd actually be running Jolly on this thing, but I think Adam is just strong as hell. Uh, knockoff is typically the last move. I wish this thing got Rock Slide, but Knockoff, really good. We'll go Knockoff. So that's cool. And we'll just go Adamant. That's not what I want. I said Adamant. Just go Adamant. What's the point of putting in Spid Death? I could run some extra calcs, but I mean, I want to be able to win a speed tower with the other one. I could use U-turn over this as well, but I think knockoff is just nice, getting rid of boots, getting rid of things like that, helping Palace and do his thing. So, you know, nice little uh, core over here, pretty weak to ice, usual. Something like Kyurem is always a threat. Always a threat. Uh, Heatran is a Pokemon that comes to mind, but obviously it doesn't like Earth Power. Uh, I kind of like the idea of Melmetal with Protect, same reason for Palace and plus Rillaboom. Um, and Melmetal is a nice resist, which is pretty cool, and it'll also eat up uh, Akiram. And it also appreciates Rillaboom getting up grassy terrain, so Earthquake is weaker versus Melmetal, so that's a pretty cool one. Uh, we would also need a switch into Heatran, though, uh, which I'm probably going to have to end up using one of the teleporters on this type of build, just because I can't pivot really well. Hmm. I'm honestly leaning towards Melmetal, though. It also helps out with Lele, which is a problem. Let's see. I want Leftovers Protect Melmetal on this team. And the double iron bash is a given on Melmetal. You're always going to run that. I'm going to put protect down here. And now to decide what am I doing with the rest of this Melmetal. Earthquake doesn't make sense. But I could use high horsepower. Uh, the reason you use high horsepower over earthquake is because of grassy terrain. Weakening earthquake. I've mentioned that before. It's the same reason. And hitting something like uh, Heatran is always nice. Plus I probably elevate it from Heatran too. Uh, it depends on how much you do. Melmetal, my child. How strong are you? Oh, you protect. Oh, this just looks like the standard set. How much you do talks about you? Oh, you the Pex. Damn, man. Oh, you the Pex. Hey, why am I in Gen... <laughs> what happened? That's not what I did. Melmetal... Melmetal... Mel Melmetal! Damn it. Talks the Oh, you the Pex. Alright, so we have that. High horsepower. Okay, okay. Not bad, not bad, not bad, not bad. Honestly, it'll go high horse power. It's not bad at all. And, uh... The thing about this is that I'm going to be inherently weak to Corviknight, so Palace and also Magna Zone is like something I liked. But I feel like if I go Zone, I don't want to go Melmetal. I could always also go Coco, too, but that's not going to help me beat the Mon. I'd rather trap it. Hmm. Just go zone. The Melmetal offers me so much defense utility, and zone puts me back at square one versus Kyurem. Darn. Team building is hard. <laughs> it's not. It's just you gotta be uh, willing to test and do things out. You're not gonna get it right the first time. You might, though. Who knows? I built some of my tournament teams, like, the first try, and I just put them in a game, and I win. But, like, that's, like, that only has to win one battle. This one, I have to win multiple battles. At least in the live, I want to win multiple battles. I don't have to, I guess. 
Um, this is a conundrum. Uh, I don't want to go Melmetal Rillaboom this and just like lose the Heatran. I mean, I'm sure I could deal with Heatran if I really needed to, but I do like Melmetal a lot. How am I going to beat Corviknight? What's my goal? What's my what's my way of beating Corviknight? I'm going to use some sort of, some sort of block stuff. Mm, teeny, Revile, Lottie. You can also just put a link on Lottie as well, which I kind of like, huh? Whatever. I'll put this for now, but I'm, I'm fairly confident I'm going to be changing this Melmetal -Mel slot. I like max attack. I like doing damage to Tox specs. My entire team does damage. I like doing damage. Uh, I could run some HP. I mean, they're not running any HP on this. They run some speed, 12 for Tox specs. Uh, you probably want to run a little bit more just to be, you know, got to be ahead of the curve. Uh, that's fine. Yeah, I get so much recovery out of this. I, I love this core. I just, I'm going to have to play the long game versus the packs, aren't I? Uh, okay. This is also a Bisharp check. I mean, so is this. They're faster. And this one's slower, but eats every hit. Dragonite. No. Blur. Blur with Garchomp. No, I already have my ground, but I don't have rocks. Heatran is an option, too. I don't like Lando on this build. Scarm, no. Pert. There we have that. I'm trying to think of, like, what I want from now is, uh, I mean, I'm fairly confident I can sm I can play around if I have a teleporter which I'm, I'm definitely I have to go on this type of build. I, I think I'm just stuck in it uh, plus adamant life or superpower I think I'll be okay like slow king is uh, looking decent here especially when pair on uh, palace and again it's a little bit of a cop-out mon but I mean there's a reason why it's OU because it's a cop-out mon it's so easy to use I could also go not nah, thunder punch doesn't do crap for me like a high horse power in the roost Right, so slow king is an option there. We'll might we'll probably end up changing that though. Uh Clef. Clef is okay in the metagame. Drill. I checked that. Just trying to look again, looking through my options. This is a decent check to cure him, especially if grassy terrain's up. Earth power won't oko me. Speaking of Kiram, I actually like Kiram. I actually like Kiram a lot, especially because specs, because it's gonna learn in the same Pokemon. It's gonna make Corviknight take a hit, and it threatens Slow King. And I can make it b beat Blissey too if it's sub, as well. Huh? I'm hella weak to uh, Needle King as well, which Akiram kind of pseudo helps with. If I go Kiram here, Fight Check, Fairy Check, mm, Rock Check. Okay. Uh. Okay, I can go Akiram here. Maybe Sub Roost. Do I like Sub Roost? Yeah, Sub Roost is really is, is like it helps. It can beat Blissey, but I like Specs a lot, and I kind of like the damage I could do. Yeah, and I would just have to make my uh, I would have to make my next few. I'll put Freeze Dry first before Ice Beam, even though they're the same thing. Earth Power. Yeah, this is fine. I'll go fast Specs. Really, really weak to Urshifu as well. My, one of them has to be a, a defogger, which I'm actually leaning towards Mandibuzz. Uh, Mandibuzz plus Slow King as the last two. A little bit weak to Coco, not really. I like Mandibuzz because I'm a Ghost Resist and Dragapult is popping up a little bit more and more. And Slow King means I'm not going to get 6 0 by Heatran. <laughs> uh, plus, Future Sights plus Kiram are always deadly. And Mandibuzz, although it's you know more passive. Ah, but then this team becomes so slow. Do I like Hydreigon more than Kiram? I haven't seen a lot of Nasty Ply Dragon as of late. And I like the idea of having my switch into close combat. And plus it's faster than Kiram. And also faster than... Uh, how did I beat Garchomp? I just hit it and do some damage to it. Clef. Annoying. No, my Melmetal is an infinite switch. D-Knight. Melmetal. Switch with Grass Terrain. Cortana's a problem, which is why Mandibuzz is looking more and more like this next one right here. This might be changed up a little bit too. Big packs. <laughs> Overcoat. Boots. Heavy duty boots. Think about the, the OU threats. Maybe I don't maybe I want to run more Spadef on this Mandibuzz too. I can at least pivot in once on on like if I can if I need to I could take a hit from Layla or if I need to I could take a hit from Coco. I wish it naturally does. I'm also a little bit weak to Volcarona, so maybe a Brave Bird foul play. 
instead of U-turn. I have no momentum from these guys, which is unfortunate. Uh, Max, what's the standard spread? I mean, I live a hit from Volk anyway. How much I do back with Braybert? Man, Buzz, why are you so weak? And I know Volk is running around because of, uh, no, Volka, Rona. Why doesn't that have Bray? I mean, it makes sense why Bray Bird isn't in the cap. Branch poke. <laughs> the attack name is so funny. Just poking someone with your stick. Uh, flamethrower. Plus one! Damn, man, why are you so strong, bro? That's Badev, too. Shoot. Hmm. I just saw a Pokemon that I think I needed, but. There's something else, there's something else, there's something else here. I can always go my own Volk, and then. No. I think I can overwhelm. I think I can overwhelm Corviknight. I think that that's for sure. I think that Manda Buzz gives me a lot. And then my last probably has to be slow game. But damn, the team is so freaking slow. And it's weak to Urshifu. Really, really weak to Urshifu. Needle King too, but Needle King is checked or checkable. Well, Slow King is is the. Uh, I guess technically Slow King will be eat Urshifu anyway. But I don't like it. I could go Pex. Maybe I go Pex on this. Did I use Pex last time? Wait, what did I just get rid of? Rillaboom. No. Return! Did I use it last time? Oh, you. Did I use Pex? No. Okay, cool. I use Pex then. It's still Earthquake Week. I love Earthquake Week. But Rillaboom really helps with that, though. Eh. Pex just means I don't have to worry about Toxic Spikes. Whatever, man. I only gotta win a couple games anyway. This team isn't perfect, and one of the things I'll change things. I'll probably change things like ten hundred times while we play. So I'm gonna go grass. I'm gonna go with the grassy glide again. You know, this should have been Swords Dance first. Ah, oh, whatever. Swords Dance. Grassy glide. Superpower and knock off. Adamant, please fix yourself. Specs, you, yep. Defog, you. Don't know your Eevee spread yet. And probably a damn slow king. Uh, Corviknight's gonna be annoying, but such is life. I can't really sit on it either. You know what I wanna put? I wanna, I wanna put a Salazzo on this team. <laughs> I do wanna put a Salazzo on this team. Also, pretty weak to. I mean, Zero's checked pretty well. Uh, Volcarona is always nasty too. Maybe I go Offensive Water plus Poison Pivot over Kyurem. No, then I... Hmm. Hmm. That helps the Volcarona a little bit better. Uh, but that doesn't help the Corviknight at all. I really just don't want to settle. But sometimes you just got to settle. So, that's it. I'll learn from my mistake. <laughs> That's it. Toxic, high horsepower, freeze dry. I'm going to heavily rely on Rillaboom in this game. Like a lot, a lot, a lot. But I think Kyurem can also cover. Plus, uh, Slowking is good for like pivot into freeze dry because I can take it once and go back. It's, just, it's such a cop-out Pokemon. It is really such a cop-out Pokemon. I shouldn't even put Skull here. I should put Future Sight, Future Sight, Future Sight, Teleport. Like... <laughs> It is really such a cop out Pokemon. This mod is gonna do something. Just you watch. Because it's gonna sit in there and it's gonna toxic things. If I go Slow King, no, I Okay, if I if I fight if I fight uh oh what's it called? Oh, I wanna be min speed as well. Like I wanna just be I wanna be the slowest teleport. Which would be the fastest teleport. If I fight or Corviknight, and I find myself hella struggling with it. I'm changing Melmetal to Magnezone, and the team concept stays the same. I just get a little bit weaker to a few Pokemon, like Kyurem, but it's okay. Just give me an Eevee spread, Smogon. Just give me an Eevee spread. I don't feel like thinking about the Eevee spread. I don't feel like calculating the Eevee spread for this mod. Mandibuz. Whatever. Good enough for me. I'll probably get rid of that speed though. I don't got no U-turn, so I don't need no speed. Out of here. Shoot, put that more in my uh defense. Cool. 
Brave Bird. Everything. You know what else I want to use on Mana Buzz? Oh, I'll use it one day. But I want to use Nasty Plot. I want to use Nasty Plot Mana Buzz. And I also want to use... Do you get, do you get that move I'm thinking of? How do you get Iron Defense? It's so fun. I've used Bone Rush before <laughs> for Heatran. I didn't Oko it. It was very sad. <laughs> Alright. It's time. Oh, you. The Moss. Nice. Defogger is decent. Yep, yep, yep. Rillaboom. I'm, I'm, I'm heavily depending on Rillaboom in this live. And I've already committed to that. And if I change it, I'll change it. Like I said, I can easily make Melmetal Magnezone and then the Palisand a better ground. Like a Hippowdon. <laughs> or anything and be good. This is going to be fun though. This is going to be fun. I'm excited. I'm excited. Give me a... Uh, give me, give me, give me something as my first... Bro, there's no... I don't even have that many... I've, I've only played like what? 14 games? Wow, the Blade. That is really cool. Uh, and unfortunately, their water is Feeny. Now, my Rillaboom is amazing in this game. That is uh, that is just a fact. And so is my Curum. I am very weak to Conk, so that's always fun. Uh, Mandibuzz deals with one, two, three. Actually, Conk as well. Uh, so I'm gonna I'm leaning towards a Mandibuzz lead always, uh, just because it has a good matchup versus those four. And these two, I have Slow King as a pivot. I have Rillaboom to check, uh, and, Mandib and Melmetal as well. So, yeah, cool. So again, the reason I'm doing this is because I can Brave Bird immediately. Why is your attack stat so weak? Now this does gonna, this is going to weaken my Dragapult answer, but I think that's okay. I think I can deal with Dragapult via Melmetal, and even priority from Rillaboom and Slowking can eat too. Obviously Shadow Balls are going to be annoying. One of the few instances I'm running a Resist. I'm happy I don't have a zone in this game. I think Melmetal is way better. Just because Double Iron Bash and Hyros Power are just so much more annoying offensively from my opponent. There we go. Get that chassis. Yeah, so we do 50%, which is nothing. And they Ice Punch me, and I take nothing back. Perfect. So, I'm going to Roost because no way you stay in. And nice. All right, so we got Conk at 50%. I obviously have a Slow King. Uh, that can come in here. Um, I'm going to make the Rillaboom play because I don't want them doubling out into Conkelder as I go Slow King and then I have to lose them on immediately. Oh, I forgot to put rocks. Oh, God. Uh, you can put rocks on this. Whatever, man. Who cares? Rocks were good here, but... Do you think they double? Right, let me just play it safe first because I think they would double to Conk, but I don't know enough about them. Plus, we can see if they have taunt or not. That legitimately does not matter. I just teleport here. They go ahead and kiss up. I just click knockoff too because they can't kill me with kiss. Uh, they should always go to blade. Yep. Oh, that does so much damage. What the hell? Yo, why that do so much damage? Oh my. Yo. Yo. <laughs> what the hell, man? Both of those surprising the hell out of me. Wow. Rillaboom just got. Even better. And of course, we have the answer to Lele. Ooh, nice specs. Let me throw off a future side here. And then bring out my Mel Metal, which they cannot stop. Now I click double iron bash and I get a kill. Oh, and it's on the Lele. That's awesome. One bash is all I needed. Yup. That's smart. It allows them to bring out their. Oh, nothing. It allows them to lose because they forfeited. Like I said, uh, this is my Rex account. I haven't played any since the last time I recorded. So uh, I guess that makes us 17 and oh, 17 is my favorite number. I always forget to put rocks, man. It's because my ground isn't my rocker. I don't want to put rocks. Please let me use Luminous Moss once in this. I just want to use Luminous Moss once. I feel like we can. Perfect. Not really, but kind of yes. Uh, so Palisand is really nice in this. Uh, you can only recycle items that were not knocked off, by the way. Very, 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 very weak to Kyurem. I love it. Oh, and Zero R is pretty good versus me, but Kyurem goes in faster than one, two. I have a decent answer to you. No, not really. I don't want to switch and knock off from you. That's very sad. Uh, Vocal Run is annoying. I think I hit it with that and the Manda Buzz, Brave Birds. Uh, they should go. Oh, thank you. Have fun. Zero R is amazing. Is this lead, Landers? I think Kyurem just phenomenal versus them. 
It really is. I think they definitely go zero aura, but Kyurem's just so freaking good. And I love Melmetal a lot too. I think just being able to click Toxic is amazing. Melmetal is a good check to Dragonite though, so I gotta be careful about letting that not letting that sweep me. Uh I get the probably best lead possible. Even if there's Scarf, I just click Freeze Dry here. Cause they won't kill me. Exactly. They unfortunately get the drop. It is definitely annoying. Uh in terms of what I can switch into. Their terrain is obviously frustrating for me. Well, what double would they make that could deal with King? Only Zero Aura. I'm going to make the Palace Hand play as it goes on Mazenta, which is even better for me, obviously, uh, because I'd be able to take the Moonblast, and what I could do is just go right for an Earth Power. That damage on Feeny is awesome. Uh, if they want to stay in, they're not going to do a lot to me. Unfortunately, I don't have Rocks or Spike in this. Yeah, it's not... Not gonna do too much. Look at that. Look at that nice little earth power. Ooh, a big damage. Let me go and shore up like they did nothing. This is sick. As Landorus T comes out, we'll go ahead that thing with a toxic. So this is really gonna be uh so we're basically going towards that um not well we're we're almost towards that uh that Rillaboom sweep, which is really nice. Obviously they still have Dragonite and Volcarona, but I'm not as worried about Volcarona as long as I hit a Toxic versus that because then I can Brave Bird it with Mana Buzz. And Palisand still actually is knocked off, so it walls zero or even harder, which is always cool. Uh, we're just going to Earth Power here, expecting them to U turn. Not sure what they bring out. Could be Feeny to try and trick me. Uh, could be Volcarona, which I would be very happy if, if they went hard Volcarona because then I get the Earth Power damage so I can Brave Bird them. With Mandibus. But I mean, it should be Feeny. I, and then that's the great thing about hitting that Toxic on, on Landers as well. I'm happy about that. Look at Palisand doing his thing. They probably saw Luminous Moss. I'm like, what the hell are you doing, bro? Too bad this doesn't kill. So they're for sure going to trick me. I'd for sure trick here. I'd rather go cure him. Uh, it basically dies. And if I get a Choice Scarf, it makes it easier for me. Exactly. Makes it way easier for me. And then I can go... Uh, in <sighs> Instead of clicking my move, right? I basically bring out you. I take nothing. I click Future Sight here. And I, I bring right back out Palisand, basically. And it's a guaranteed hit off on something. You know, it does nothing. So I get a, a guaranteed Future Sight off on something here. And if they sack Feeny, it's dead. I'd rather have kept the Kirim to sack to die. That way I can deal with Volcarona. So Future Sight's going to come out at something... Right now, oh, I'm glad with it being Zamazenta and I'm able to 1v1 this thing. That's pretty cool. Did nothing, but whatever. Close enough. Tapu Fini comes out. I have a slow king at a thousand percent. As they trick me again, and I mean, you don't got a skull switching, so <laughs> yeah, I'll take it back. Thank you. <laughs> you don't have a skull switching, so it didn't really matter there. Their aura comes out. My Palisand seems relatively safe unless they're Grass Knot. As you can see, their knockoff did absolutely nothing. And we'll Earth Power here as they go Dragonite. So I think I just Toxic Dragonite. Um, this could be Earthquake, but if it's just Dual Wing Beat, I think we 1v1 it. Yep. Bro, Palisand is the truth, baby. Yo, Palisand is the straight up truth. What a GOAT. What a GOAT. Let me show up again. Bro, unless you DD heal, Bell, it don't matter. You're not doing any damage to me. I'm just going to heal it off completely, and then I can hit them with a uh, Grassy Glide. And then when they go Vocal Runner, I knock them off. So I'll be okay. Also, the answers to, to Rillaboom, I mean, they're all still alive, <laughs> but they're, they're slowly but surely dying. I also have a Melmetal. Which can come in on Dual Wing Beat. And then protect if it wants to on the poison turn. So take, take a good chunk there. Go ahead and protect there. I wanted to keep the Kyurem sack for, for Volcarona, but I think I'll be okay. So I'm just going to sack Kyurem now. Even if they roost, I just go Melmetal and click protect. So it's the same thing. Alright, so I'm definitely feeling Mandibuzz now because... Obviously, Volcarona threatens a lot on my team. 
But I really feel like Palisand just doesn't care, bro. As long as I land Toxic here. I'm good. Because Volk will eat once. And then Palisand will wall. I just want my Luminous Moss to, like, to work once. Please. Please work once. Please don't be safeguard either. That would be very sad. Especially because you already have Misty Terrain that I had to dance around. Interesting. I mean, you're not really doing much damage to me with that at all. So, uh, I don't lose anything by just clicking Earth Power every other turn. Uh, and look at Palisand beating the Pokemon it's supposed to. What a goat. Goat. Goatmon. Goatmon. That's it, man. Look at little Palisand go. <laughs> I'm loving it, bro. Look at him. All right. So, what a Toxic here for sure. Please land. I'm not going to skip turn. I'm going to let everybody watch Toxic hit. <gasps> we landed. And then we'll go Melmetal. Because in front of Melmetal, you uh, you cannot uh, basically quiver. You have to attack. This is why I want to stack Kyurem so I can get a Mana Buzz. But Mana Buzz should live plus two as well. Oh, well, you should have attacked. Like I said, it doesn't matter if I get burnt here. I just need to do damage to Volcarona. I, did I avoid a burn? Holy crap. Cool. I'm just going to Hyros Power just in case they're Roost. or re Well, Rest was the one I was more scared of. But uh, they ended up being Roost. So at this point, they haven't really gotten a turn that worked out for them. Uh, Palisand was the truth, though. Good game, bro. Let me Hyros Power here so I can win with Grassy Glide twice. Even if they bulk up, it don't matter. Even if they're weak. Uh, I guess if they're bulk up weakness policy, it could matter. I suppose. Yeah, might as well just go sack Slow King. Just Scald. I don't have to go Palisand. Again, it's uh, at this point, I'm just clicking attacks that don't give them any opportunities to... Ooh, it is, it is bulk up. Well, it's leftover, so it doesn't matter, but... Can't kill me with anything. They may switch the landers to get the Intimidate. If I was banded, I KO'd them there, so it makes sense that they switched. So I just went for the SD to give me the 100% uh, chance to win right now. I guess if they were Blaze Kick. But even then, I stopped Palisade alive, so it didn't matter. Nice Rillaboom coming in and cleaning up like I talked about at the end. I think I said GG before, so it doesn't really matter. Right? Did I say it? I think I did. I will get this Luminous Moss to do something. I, at least I, I... I mean, at least I walled... Like, you saw me legitimately wall Mons. I walled Dragonite. I walled Landorus. I walled Zamazenta, I walled Zeraora, and I Toxic Volcarona, and I did a lot to Fini as well. Team's fire. <laughs> Team's not fire. Alright, GG. I said GG before, but it's like habit when Amon dies to say GG. I just want the Moss to activate. Oh god. <laughs> My prayer was answered because I'm fighting in her Shifu. Yeah. Yay. They're definitely going Urshifu versus me too because it's faster than my fastest mod. So you gotta go Urshifu versus me. That's alright. I can play around it. Rillaboom's also a decent lead too. But I think that you'll for sure go Urshifu in this uh, in this matchup. Getting Kiram and click Ice Beam. That's the main role. Uh, I need to... Well, based on like that... Okay, there go Heat Ran. Not what I wanted. Uh... Not that bad either. This mod is necessary to win. So I'm always going Slow King. And I'm clicking Scald. Ooh, greedy Rillaboom. Hella greedy. Yep. And punished. And punished. That's it. That greedy Rillaboom. You had Clefable. You had Clefable. So Clef should have for sure been my opponent switching there. Uh, now, the unfortunate thing is that Zapdos... Zapdos is a giant threat. Luckily, I do have Toxic and other means to deal with it. But I assume you Hurricane here. I'm going to make the... See, Sloking isn't a greedy play. Because it's strong. Off future side. Let's see if they're Thunder Punch. They are. I don't know if that's Bandit or not either, though. But I like the idea of going out into a Mel Metal here. Because. Well, first off, I can stop them from going for U turn right now. Let me go ahead and stop that U turn and see if I can get some damage off on them. As they go for knockoff. So either way, I get a nice little hit off, which is cool. 
Don't really care if Mana Buzz gets knocked because I can defog. Pretty safely. It sucks that I got paralyzed on Slow King immediately. Also, that Thunder Punch did nothing. And there is the Cleft that I thought would come out immediately. I do have a Melmetal, which is Max Bidaf, so even if they Fire Move immediately, I'm pretty good, I think. And uh, I like Toxic more than High Horsepower first, because it hits Zapdos and they see Leftovers. They go Rillaboom, which is completely fair. I mean, you want to knock me off and not give me an opportunity, but I'll always go for the Protect here. And if they U-turn out this time, I'm going to click High Horsepower. Because they might think they can go out to Heatran to live the Earthquake because it's weakened, but no. Let's see. Are you going to go Heatran? Oh, perfect. Let's see if we land the high horsepower. We do, and Heatran is dead, which means no rocks, so the defog was fine. Um, assuming they go out to Garchomp, I just double iron bash them, and then I can grassy glide them with Rillaboom. So things are looking really good here. Uh, the one Mon that's very scary that might come out right now is Urshifu, but they went this for whatever reason, so... <laughs> Yo, thank you for giving me Clefable. I appreciate that. Hey, look at look at young Melmetal eating up everything too and getting back up. That that did nothing. <laughs> that, that focus blast. That's crazy. That focus blast too. No fire blast. That's man tech, bro. Once again, we are not fighting anything that could activate my luminous moss. Oh, one mon I overlooked while building. How lucha? How great? Eh, that's gonna be tough. But Kyurem smacks the opponent. So. And my pressure goes before the Intimidate. So I know for a fact that they are not Scarf. Uh, I want to click Earth Power here just in case they're crazy and go Heatran. But they should always go Slow King first. That is an insane play. You have a... That's insane, bro. Yo, you know what? I'll give it to you. That's hella insane. I'm assuming they might Toxic here too. But uh, Skulls are nice in, in this game too. Melmetal is really strong. Memo is very strong, despite them having a Kartana. Uh, ideally, Mandibuzz carries versus these three. I don't want them taunting as I click Teleport, so I'm just going to Scald and attempt to uh, at least weaken uh, the Rillaboom. Well, one of the Rillaboom answers, because Rillaboom is actually super strong too. Oh, that's sick. They didn't even try and kill me there, so I'll take that. Awesome, because they freaking hate Mel Metal. Metoxic here. As they go landers, expected. Yep. This has to be rocks. Has to be rocks. Yeah, it has to be rocks. I'm going to take on the events of Ingokirum. Very little U turns can like stop me from. Oh, great. I completely forgot about Future Sight too. But very little U turns can actually stop that turn for me from like. Basically, nothing can stop me from clicking this, is what I'm trying to say, damn it. And I freeze that, which is amazing for Melmetal to want to come out right now. I also live a Magma Storm from Heatran. So I'm going Melmetal, even if they double to Heatran. We'll double Iron Bash this turn because it hits Landers. And we actually get rid of Slow King, so that's amazing for Kyurem. Uh, very lucky on my part to get the freeze. I ain't denying it. I'm not blind. I just choose... To not see it. Just like some stupid people in real life, but you know. I digress. Uh Kalucha is a problem. I bet you if I keep Melmetal healthy, which honestly is like I'm not gonna do. I'm gonna let it take magma storms, I'm gonna let it take sewer powers, I'm gonna let it take earthquakes. Just because I know that grassy terrain can bring me back. But yeah, I bet you if it takes hits I can win as well. That was really big. That was a really big death. Uh I also have Palisand can also click Toxic on Lucha as well. So we're going to protect here and see how they react to this turn. Uh, if they U-turn, that means I can high horsepower. As they Swords Dance. Not super expected, but I, I wasn't expecting Swords Dance that turn, I'm going to be honest. Because Manda Buzz and Kirim could come up. But then again, Kirim probably died to it. Uh, I should keep Kirim alive. Yeah, should I? Do I really have to? I think Mandibuzz eats every hit. Slow King. I don't like Slow King. Even though it's for Heatran, I don't like it. They're going to go for knockoff here. So, this is going to be a problem. <laughs> this boosted Rillaboom is going to be annoying. Don't get me wrong. I may or may not have messed up. 
I didn't see life orb though. Uh, I'm gonna let Cartana be annoying. They can't kill me though. I don't think they can kill me, uh, even with superpower. Definitely not with Drain Punch. So that's dead, which is awesome. I get to Brave Bird this as well, which is pretty cool. Did a decent chunk. So let them knock me out there. I go Palisand and click Toxic. Boy, eight. No, I lost. Okay. Mm. Well, if I hit that, they had to go for another acro. I could go Melmetal and click Protect. Uh, but unfortunately, that is not the case. Oh, my God. Demon, what the hell, bro? How? You think I'm not killing you too? Get out of here! So, Scarf Knockoff would be the only thing, right? But even then, I think I'm good. I'm pretty sure I'm good. I'm pretty sure I just clicked... Oh, they're, they're, uh, they're Life Orb. I did not see that. That's a damn shame. So, I lose to this. Damn, man. I mean, I did get the freeze on them, so to be fair. But the Toxic Miss really hurt. Uh, that cart was going to be annoying anyway, but if I had Rillaboom in versus it, it could be a different story. Maybe I should just sack Palace in, but I didn't think they'd be SD life. Can I get a water type that I can, like, get the damn moss from, bro? Maybe I can make them Aqua Jet me. <laughs> this is a team of demons. You see this? Dragonfall for sure crazy in this game, too. Bro, no matter, bro. Sloking just, I lead off with Sloking and I click Teleport. <laughs> That's when I, when I don't know what they're going to lead off with. Actually, Future Sight's fine this turn one at least uh, because they don't have anything to immediately punish. Even if they go really boom, who cares? Uh, it's nothing that immediately punishes me as Garchomp comes out. Palisand is my play. And I can click Toxic here because if they go Zapdos, they get hit. If I get the Toxic off on Garchomp, that opens up Melmetal. If I get on Zapdos, that opens up Melmetal. So um, this Mon is literally here to beat you 1v1 so yes thank you for giving me your garchomp i wonder if they'll scale shot here and get two hits and not knock me out there's no point going mandibuzz mandibuzz too good in this game this thing only stops close combat but sloking does very similar oh look what a kind soul you gonna knock here no matter i go mandibuzz anyway as a U-turn, uh, as a life orb U-turn, cool. Um, Heatran has to be Magma Storm for sure. Nice. I would really taunt here, or Toxic. Eh, would you taunt immediately? Kyurem has no switch-ins, but I'm really tempted to just throw it away right now. I'm going to teleport. Awesome. So we're getting Kyurem now. And we're men. So, or I'm a man, excuse me. So, <laughs> I'm going to click Earth Power. <laughs> Y'all thought I was clicking Ice Beam? No. No, 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 no. Nah, not in front of that demon. Right back out to Slow King we go. Hell yeah. Bro, is this belt? I can't tell if this belt or not. Uh, it's belt. Or it's protective pads. Uh, one or the other, both of which are a giant threat to me. So that is awesome. I'm going to go ahead and go Palisand here because they'll die. And if you kill me, you die to, uh, you'll die as well. Oh, awesome. So my future site gets to come out now. They forgot about it. I get my Water Compassion and my Luminous Moss, and I die. <laughs> but the biggest threat to my team also dies. So I'm okay with this. Yes, sir, I am. And you do not lose to any Pokemon on their team. Let's see a few specs. Ooh. Okay. Well, you don't kill me with Heat Wave. You don't kill me with nothing. Protect Melmetal. One of the GOATs. It's on the one of the best teams ever. First team I made. Well, not the first team I made, but the, the, the choose your whatever six you want. Doesn't matter. Blah, blah, blah team. 
If I double iron bash here, Manda Buzz will be this and this. So I would double iron bash. Even if I get paralyzed, whatever. As long as Zathos is dead. Plus, I get an Ice Beam off if Rilla Boom's out, so. Oh, cool. I'll take it. Oh, it's leftovers as well, so it might not be able to kill me. And it dies. <laughs> There's no reason to click protect there, bro. If it's leftovers, I automatically assume Dragon Dance Phantom Force, which gives me two turns of leftovers recovery there. Just gonna click Double Iron Bash here because this mon is a demon. And it is incredibly strong. And Zapdos cannot win. So, nice. I got my Luminous Moss stuff to activate. But I mean, I wall though you with Palace so that's always fun. <laughs> Not getting my Luminous Moss activated though, that's very sad. I uh, I, I would like my Luminous Moss to activate. I could build more legit teams if you guys want to, like the first time I did. Uh, this one's just more... Oh god. Another Lucha, which I pray that I hit. Toxic versus... Yeah! We got some threats, bro! Well, you know who else got some threats? Young Kira. Yeah! Well, you can click Outrage turn one. It's Draco. Damn. Alright. We're going in now. Just run Pex. You can build a team. You can build a nice little team with that if you want it. So, the thing is, I SD there because if they went Zamazenta, I smacked it. But, uh, this Garchomp loses to Slow King. Do I have the tools to win if I hit this thing? Not in particular. Grassy Glide. I'm just clear. Shoot, I don't care. Yeah, that's enough damage to me not to lose. If they set up in front of me. I wonder if this is defensive. I'll find out right now. Probably goes Zamazenta here. Or Feeny. Uh, this is unfortunately going to be an L because they were Draco on Garchomp. Uh, staying in turn 1 was calculated in case they weren't. But, uh, <laughs> if there were any other set, like scale shots, wuss. I I've never seen that attack get more than two. Hmm, they're gonna trick me here. It don't matter, I don't need Slow King anyway. Like, I do, but I... It's like a do-don't. Right back out to Mandibuzz as we go. Roost ones, in case they're sewer power, exactly. Foul play now. I'm assuming they go Lucha. Try and do their thing versus me. Slow King is still there. Lucha. Okay. Well, Toxic. I'm going to try and outplay them 100 turns. I'm doing it. But I'll play him 100 turns. I'd acro here. 130%. Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, man. Damn it, I need this mon to win. Oh, cool. I can roost once, at least. Garchomp comes out. Foul play. It crit me there, which is annoying. But I could defog after. It just sucks because Feeny's going to come out. Okay, cool. So I get my... I actually end up getting my um, my head off here, which is cool. So I'm going to defog again. As long as I'm damn near 100%, it's okay. So I just roost again. As they go Feeny to what? Trick me? Nope. Uh, I think I lost. Let's see. 
Uh oh. Uh oh. Your boy is back in town. How what, bro? I wish it died because I think you howl now. It's the homie, bro. It's the homie. Come on, Slow King. I need you to do this for me, buddy. No way. Yeah, GG. Almost brought it back, fam. Ah, damn, man. After all that misses, after all that mess up, almost had it. Damn it. I almost did it, too. The thing is, my palace ant, I was out of... Wait, was it in range or out of range? Hold up. Zamazenta. Uh, I was still out of range, but I, I couldn't I couldn't beat it with Earth Power. I had to burn it. Yo, once again, I'm never gonna get this Luminous Moss activated. Let's go. Damn, bro, I really got messed up by Draco. Like my Kyurem killed everything. <laughs> still nice that my Manda Buzz didn't die though. I didn't even put spit off on that bad boy. Unfortunate. Two losses. Cloisters always check my Melmetal. Melmetal checked. I like this team. It reminds me of. Which just reminds me of older times. Which is a damn threat, bro. Karen smacks you too. <laughs> bro, you Sash? Look like Earth Power. I feel like Specs Earth Power massacres Cloister and Mel Metal while still hitting uh, Feeny and not making me go for like Freeze Dry or something. Is it Sash? It is Sash. That's cool. Alright, I'm gonna go out to my counter. <laughs> my Oh, quote unquote. Can deal with this after. I did nothing, bro. There's no reason to reveal protect. What am I doing? <laughs> I'm going to live Hydro Pump if they go for it, too. I'll live Surf. Does he learn Hydro Pump? I feel like. I don't remember. Oh, God. This is why I click protect. Well, luckily, you should always roost because I have a Slow King. And Mystical Fire doesn't do crap, so I'm a Toxic here. If they're crazy, they double the Rillaboom. Yeah, Mystical Fire doesn't do crap, so I get my little Toxic off, which is sick. Um, low key, this mod kind of annoying. Watch me high horsepower on this Roost. Yeah. This is the only reason I made that play, just because Rillaboom is really strong versus them. Also, me being able to avoid that is wild. Even if they Roost here, I don't care. I, I want the turn of recovery. I want the extra turn of recovery. As a Scorching Sands. What does not allow setup? Mandibuzz doesn't allow these two to go set up. Well, it does allow Feeny to set up, though. Alright, so we get rid of that. So that's awesome for Rillaboom. Really this Melmetal could come out, too. Or you. You, too. But, I mean, I got my Melmetal. She comes in and clicks Double Iron Bash again. And I always hit Garchomp when it comes out too because I got a Grassy Glide Revenge, kill it. I click Double Iron Bash always. Don't gotta predict here. Even though we like outplayed the Moltres. I mean, I'm in 1400, so it's not like I take pride in my plays. <laughs> but at the same time, I don't think it matters. Like the other people are also laddering for the suspect too. I'll probably end up making a more serious team again. Uh, there was one other Mon I wanted to test out as well. What was it? Oh, it was Leftovers SD Garchomp. I've been seeing a lot of it. I'm like, oh, they're cool. That looks fun. Longevity is nice. Dude, imagine I Skull Burn that dude. I wish I died to recoil, though. Yeah, I have to hit you. I have to. Just because I have to make sure that... Well, this won't die, but I have to make sure that you take damage so Grassy Glide kills you. Plus, Scald is stupid good versus them now. Look at it. Do I use Palisand to beat this? Does Grassy Glide kill? I feel like it does. Rillaboom is stupid. I feel like that's a lot, a lot what a lot of people think about Rillaboom too. Yeah, this is 59 to 70. Damn. I'm going uh Mana Buzz to force scale shot. If I can. Let's see if I can. Uh it's edge. That's not good. Okay, that's not good. 
Because it's Edge, I have to go Palace in after as well. Because uh, Rubum doesn't kill. So I'll go Palace in. Uh, the good thing is Palisand, I mean, <laughs> it's going to be a little bit tricky versus their Melmetal, but maybe SD Rillaboom could do it because I can just SD in front of Feeny. So we'll see. It's going to be tricky though. But I force in Feeny by going Kyurem after. Oh, awesome. I wish they would just do that before. Chip off. Sick. Now if I'm a man... With my Rillaboom ISD right now in the Mel Metal. But I'm gonna do it a little bit later when it's a little safer. <laughs> they probably shouldn't sack it. Eh, I mean, foul play, foul play. Yeah, it's his job. It's better to be safe than sorry. God, I took so much damage. That's what they were. They were rough, a rocky helmet. I wish they were life orb. You could have done a million percent to my mods. Would have made me happier. I wonder if this is banded. Could be. Wow, it did nothing. Oh, goodbye, my child. <laughs> I wonder if this is also a salt vest. This could be a salt vest, which means that I would need foul play damage to kill it with anything on my team. Damn it. He thaw. Time to lose to Rillaboom Fini. That's also one of the things, like, maybe a Shifu Mag... Well, in this case, I haven't fought any Corviknights, so Magnezone definitely not. I just needed some damage. Alright, they are AV. Yeah, so foul play would have been okay, at least twice. I don't think knockoff kills... Maybe I, I play off their choke, right? Right? Yeah, I have to play off their choke. Which is them switching. Good game, dude. Um, so, damn, man. I got some foul play chip on that thing, maybe. <gasps> no, it's Crawdon. When is anybody going to hit my Luminous Monster? Damn, that's be really moving wild here. When is someone going to hit my Luminous Moss? Mon, damn it. Scissors are so good. Oh, scissors are so good versus me. I love it. No metal means I don't lose to this, this, or this as a lead, so I like that best. I'm losing points on my account. That is unfortunate. Also, telling me to use Tox Effects is lame. It was gonna be on my team. Palisand is just fun. Hella fun. I still think, uh... Ooh, new all-time high. And I'm not talking about that dodge coin thing. Not bad. Ugh, 20 and 3. Disgusting. Anyway, uh, what are they? Uh, Melmetal? Yeah, Melmetal is good versus not necessarily Scizor, but I guess if this is SD, it can smack me as well. I'll protect first, just to see if. Yeah, they U turn here. So I get a free double iron bash on something. And it's U turn. Turn plus knockoff. What the hell is it? Leftovers, Roost, Bullet Punch, Scizor. Are we really running this? Alright, that's fine though. You didn't recover with it for whatever reason. So, it sucks because like Melmetal was really good versus Kiram. Yeah, and I was assuming there was be Rocky Helmet there. Yeah. Uh, we're going to be on the offensive now because I just lost one of my best Pokemon. I assume U turn would be U turn SD Bullet Punch. And they just click rocks, which is perfect. So, we get a Specs Ice Beam off. I don't know how much their Scizor takes because this is a demon. 32% and a freeze. Oof. Oof. I mean, they didn't bullet punch or do anything, so they died. So I guess the freeze didn't matter. Nice. So, I mean, I get kills with freeze right now. It's the same thing. You know, rocks also would make differences in this game. I haven't been able to click recycle once. I haven't fought a slow king or a slow bro, which is what I'm, you know, aiming for. Slow king means they can U turn out into that. Banded. Wow. Okay. Not what I expected. I'm just saving that just as a pivot, but... Holy crap, dude! What a threat! 
All right, so first off, you can obviously die to foul play. I'm going to defog here and, and try and help myself out. But holy crap, man. Banded Dragapult? That's something else I want to try too. Uh, this can't kill me with anything. But they just bring out... Oh, they just bring out the damn Kyurem. And smack me. Maybe they Dazzling Gleam. I don't think you die to, to Volt Switch. But unless it specs outside of terrain. No. Alright. This game a wrap, bros. This game a hella... Uh, huh. Yeah, that's a wrap. It's a hella wrap. Because even if I double iron bash into Landorus and they beat me down with that. Maybe. No, they just dragon darts me repeatedly. Like, what am I supposed to do to dragon darts? That's it. <laughs> Bro, knock off you turn leftover scissor. Smack me. Do you take two? There's no way you take two, bro. This boy is like adamant banded. Oh, give them a dirty roll. Give them a dirty roll. Give me the dirtiest roll right now. 24-24. That's it, bros. That's like four losses in a row. Holy crap. We're gonna try one more. I'm gonna try another one. Can't end it on that, bro. Can you someone bring a water type? Once? I don't think I can win this game. I don't have rocks to break Skarm sturdy. Look at all the threats. Look at all these threads. This is what I was talking about, like not like pressure to break that. Slow King, teleport plus that plus Rilla Boom is gonna be important. Alright, I'm gonna have to be Skarm uh, via like Rilla, literally Rilla Boom. Like legitimately Rilla Boom. I'm gonna I'm gonna scout for I'm assuming this is just stealth rock though. But I'm gonna scout for the Stellar Spikes plus Rapid Spin. Yeah. Are we gonna bash just to see if they're Rocky Helmet or Leftovers? I'm pretty sure they're Helmet though. Did a good chunk, not gonna lie. Alright. So we know they're Helmet. You know they got Body Press. Defog is a Whirlwind. I'll bring out Curum now just in case they don't go Blissey. I'm still bringing up Melmetal. And then what we're going to do is we're going to double to uh, Kyurem. They could go Volk, I guess. But we're going to double to Kyurem on Skarm, and then we're going to double to Rillaboom after. I swear if you body press me. So help me. Alright, SD time. What's my best play? You kill a plus two superpower? I feel like you don't. 61 to 72%. Body press is a lot. I'm gonna knock you first. Holy crap, are you even max special defense? I did so much damage. Alright, we can get this we can get the exact same play going again. So basically I go I go Kiram here. Hires power on Roost doesn't do anything because I'm not gonna kill them in one hit. And I go Rillaboom right now on Blissey. Hit him up with another SD on the Skarm. And I... That roll is so dirty. Okay. I don't know. That's that's a crazy play, but you know, it worked out. <laughs> but I killed Skarm, so it didn't work out. So I can... I, I mean, eh, it kind of still worked out because I'm, I'm dead. But I guess Double Iron Basher is really good too. Plus I got my homie right here. Ah, oh, shoot. My homie getting to a kill. Wait. Wait, my homie's still alive and well. My homie is alive and well, baby. Yo, Palazan. Let's go, baby. Ooh, no, my friend. I don't think you can touch me. I don't think you can touch me. So they're definitely going Volk here. I would Earth Power into them, but I don't think I can. like, Because I need to be healthy enough to be able to switch into this later. Oh, perfect. So I got my Earth Power on Volk now. Nice. Unless he gets 1v1 by this. There's no way their last move isn't healing. Yeah, Blissey gets 1v1. I'm a Toxic here, just in case they go Volk. Yep, yep, yep. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Perfect. So that means that Mana Buzz eats a hit. Stupid Thunder Wave. Crap. 
Nah, you good, you good. Oh, Earth Power, just in case they're crazy and try and go Gengar on the Toxic. That'd be a demon play. Why are they Leftovers Blissey? Be Boots. I, I need to stop seeing you recover. Also, their Volcarona being Toxic is weird, them switching. I feel like you should try and go for the sweep at that point, because everything is already, you know. Yep, they did try and go Gengar. Nice. No Cursed Body either? Ooh, what a GOAT. Bro, they're about to lose to this mod. They're about to lose heavy. That's it. Ready for this Crit Fire Blast? Oh, it's Leftovers. We're good. We're good. Why is it Leftovers? <laughs> you demon. I'm just going to Brave Bird again. This is really good that I died there because they lose to Palisade. <laughs> Yo, I just walled their team of fellas in. Let's go. Earth power twice, baby. Psh, going. Reggie Alecki has zero moves that can touch me. I just click Earth power again. Swift don't hit me. Rabbit spin don't hit me. Thunderbolt don't hit me. Hyper Beam don't hit me. Oh, there's a point of recovery here, bro. There's no point. I just click Toxic. Nice job, fam. What are you doing now? Also, I have Double Iron Bash. Like, I win. Pal Palace Angels won't owe you. Let's go. This is the type of game I was looking for. <laughs> that was the Palace game. I mean, I won't owe you with Palace That was fun. That was a fun one. I hadn't done that. That was, that was a good note to end it on. Especially after I took a couple out. Maybe I should try for one more, though. Maybe. Let's try for one more. Why not? Why not? Oh, yeah, an hour and six minutes. Damn. Maybe I should have ended it on that. But I already clicked Fine Battle. Oh, I got this dude again. Alright. So, uh, now I know they're Draco, I can go Slow King and click Scald many a time. Hi. They click Rocks, it don't matter. I just defog away immediately. Drago ain't gonna kill me. I got nothing that can kill me in one hit. Feeny comes out, I get rid of terrain. They may trick. I wanna go cure him. <laughs> yup. Nice. So I get my uh, I get a scarf uh, freeze dry, which is really, really decent. And their Moonblast doesn't do crap to me. Go ahead and teleport right now. The Barn Bash, even if they go Volk, it's my best play. I'm a Toxic right now, and they're Roost. Hey, okay. Sick. So I'm going slow king because I just want the uh, regenerator turn on that to then go mana buzz obviously but I want to make sure I have this regenerator turn basically especially because I can just foul play now into something it's Tapu Fini slow king once on the pivot I read a bit of damage on this is nice because my freeze drives are looking scarier and scarier This is sick. I just get to double iron bash without fear of uh, being burnt because of the misty terrain. Hmm. I like cure them a lot here because if they roost, I'm good. If they flamethrower, I'm good. But basically, freeze dry looks hella free. Yeah. And because they've been taking that damage, I know I'm not 2 KO'd unless they're adamant. And I know I 2 KO them as well. But. Ah, oh, they were adamant. Damn. I'd probably go Lucha here and pivot. Watch this easy ice beam. Yup, yup. I knew I knew they threw I they throw away their only win. They literally lose. I knew you'd risk it. GG, buddy. <laughs> now you get swept by Ice Beam. I love it. What's wrong? 
Yeah, it's wild. Anyway, we just throw you away. Minus one spadef. Kiram, how much are you doing? I mean, I, I think they're, I'm pretty sure they're adamant to do as much as they did. Trigger is 45. Pretty sure I go to my homie now. I click knock. I think knock hits everything. It should knock out Volk. I didn't want to go cure him yet. Because if they close combat me, at least they take a little bit more so I can click uh, Specs Ice Beam. That's what I'm going for right now. And knock off smacks everything. Yeah, yeah. So they go Volk. So Volk dies. I might get burnt here. Yep, there's the burnt. That's okay though. If they go dog, I click sewer power. If they go this, I got a Manda Buzz. I click foul play here. I get rid of them. Because basically I'm trying to make it that I click earth power and win. Which is very, very soon. I don't think it matters if this dies. Click specs earth power here. Uh, scarf earth power here. And then I went. They threw away Lucho, which was their way of winning. So I'm glad I got the rematch versus this guy. They can't kill me with Draco. I just sacked my metal. They have no attack EVs either, so I don't even know if they kill me. Yep. And I died a rough skin, which is great. And then I went with Scarf Earth Power. GG. Not bad. Yo, I'm so glad I got the run back versus this dude. And I got the win. Not even bad. All right. I hope y'all enjoyed. That was Adam and Zamazenta too, which is the only reason why I think it 2-8 KO'd my boy. But I hope y'all enjoyed Palisand Wall and OU. Wasn't really able to do the Luminous Moss. If I had leftovers this entire run, it would have always been better. Legitimately always better. If you're going to use this team, just put leftovers on it, man. I didn't fight one slow king, one slow bro. I couldn't do any recycle. Shoot, if I had Shadow Ball, if I had Protect plus leftovers plus Shore Up, oh my god. It would have been a million times better. But uh, you live and learn, and that's part of the testing process. Of course, if you guys did enjoy, feel free to leave a like, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye, my friends.